I have a different technique for tubing these that I like. I don't know if you'll want to try it or not. I'll try anything. But I'll try it. I pull, I lift them with the hook and then put the tube below them and like almost like droop them into it. Yeah. And that I have a better luck with. I know. There hasn't been anything in this tube recently, right? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Nah, he's scared. Yep, he just wants to get away. The reason why I'm using a tube on this one is the size of the head is so small. It's a little harder to, to get a good grip on. And you can see how flighty they are. Crates are nocturnal uh, biters, and they usually that's how people get venom is during the rapid eye motion of sleep, and they roll over on the snake and get bit on the earlobe. So or the neck or on the neck, yeah. yeah. It's kind of like trying to push a rope, you know. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I might try that's something. fighting back. Yeah, a rope that's uncooperative. I could just get him to put his nose in it without right? freaking out. <laughs> he keeps ducking, he keeps ducking his head under his body. Mm -hmm. That's why I like the lifting technique. Yeah. Well, I tried the lifting technique two ways, with the hook and with my hand, and it, it's still spazzing out. It's just throwing itself around. Maybe if I started with that, it would have worked better, but now that it's all riled up, it's just kind of like... And my wife says I don't have any patience. <laughs> I've got to go out a little bit further. They are so good at not doing This is so Try to put it just in the front. Yeah. Don't waste it. Yep. Yep, there it is. Didn't waste it. It's biting down so hard. The fang is right behind it. Okay, thanks. That's the problem with these guys. Mm -hmm. You have to go in this direction. Here. Is that on there? Can you see it? It's on there. It looks like it is. On that one, it is. You just want to try the side? Yeah. Do one at a time. I don't know if it's in there. It is. Okay. Nope, no, it's not. It's torquing so much. That's to the speculum's way too big. Yeah. That's the problem. Okay. You need something smaller. We do have one. Yeah. Sorry. Can you do that one? Maybe. Yeah, we got a little more. But I got venom on my hand. Okay. 
Okay. Right. I think you lost most of that venom on that other thing. I think so too. Yep. Yeah, we're not getting any. Okay. Once it touches, because then I have to switch hands. And stuff. It doesn't work. Yeah, that's true. Okay. I'm touching. Rest of the tube against this so it's not shaking. Of course, then you don't have as much movement on it. But I mean, it just may not work for you. I've had good luck with it, but that doesn't mean the same thing works for everybody. Yeah, it's also like you said, taking the snake out. Now it's... Right, yeah. It's different when you take it out, too. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. Yeah. Like everything I mean, you are good at getting things in tubes, I think, in general. Yeah. Somebody pulled the tube. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. yeah. He's pulled back too much on the tube. Okay. Are you moving jaw so yeah. I can just get this? It actually did a little bit. Should I try putting the speculum in, do you think? If you can't get it. I can feel it, but I can't yeah, quite can't get see it. it. Just go there with the speculum and to put it on. I got it. Yep, and he just gave. Yeah, he did. That was pretty good, actually. Yeah. I'm going to take this one off to do the other one, okay? Right. Squeeze it off. I don't think he gave any more. It's off. Okay. You guys are pretty good about it. Okay. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe for more KRZ videos. And don't forget to hit the bell so you know when it's happening. Follow us on social media at KY Reptile Zoo for more scaly content. Lastly, come visit us in Slade, Kentucky and check out our website at kyreptilezoo.com for merch and booking programs. See ya!